Physiology. The ureter transmits the urine from the kidney to the bladder by its peristaltic action. Waves of contraction run along it, quite as along the intestine, and as each wave reaches the bladder, the ureteral orifice becomes slightly raised and tumefied, emits a little jet of urine, and then sinks back again. This is perhaps the most picturesque phenomenon observable through the cystoscope. The contractions of the two ureters are quite independent and not often synchronous. They recur irregularly every five, 10, or 20 seconds. Exceptionally, the intervals are much longer. Like the bladder, the ureter is insensitive to touch unless inflamed, except at its vesical orifice. But like the bladder, it is extremely sensitive to distension Witness the agonizing pain of renal colic. Whether those obscure cases of renal colic attending the passage of concentrated crystalline urine are due to distension or to simple scratching of the ureteral walls, it is impossible to say. Dr. Bryson has advanced the theory that pain of the upper third of the ureter is radiated to the kidney, pain of the middle third to the abdomen and pain of the lower third to the bladder and urethra. While this is usually the case, vesicle pain of renal origin may be due to a disturbance solely in the renal pelvis without any implication of the ureter. Examination. The methods of examining the ureter are reducible to two. One, palpation, chapter one, Two, urethral catheterization and its various modifica modifications, chapter five. Malformations, these are described on page 536.